Hello, you wonderful people. Today is the last day of our fake art box collab. We started with a hot files box um, that you can watch in the videos, and I will li link to her channel as well as Nasreen's, whose box is being opened today. My box was the one for last week. So you actually had three weeks of art boxes being opened. If you watch the unboxing, you might have seen that the screen sent me a lot of stuff. There were so many sweets that I have never tried before and I enjoyed them so much. There were also very nice, well, great art supplies in the box. I had the white gel pen that I really enjoy and have used quite a few times since I got it. And there was this pigment liner. It's actually gotten on our list to, of things to rebuy. And pigment liners aren't the things that I would go for. At least I'm not very picky about them. But this one was really great. Nasreen also sent me a set of pearl colors from Kuretake and I actually had this set already. So I talked with Nasreen and asked her if she would be mad at me if I used the set that I already had and put the set that she sent me to the side because I would like to make a giveaway on Christmas and this will be one of the things that will be given away. So if you are interested Wait for Christmas. As she also sent me a sketchbook and some other papers to try out, I wanted to make something new for me. The art boxes, both of them, were full of things that I have never tried out before. And also full of things that I had never tried out in a p particular combination. So while a hot fell sent me neon colors, in this set I had the shimmery colors in the sketchbook with not watercolor paper and it actually took the watercolors really well. It didn't warp a lot, so now I am sure what I can use them for. I also never tried to mix the pearl colors before, but I did it quite a lot in this painting. What I did then was trying out one of the black papers and paint with the shimmery colors on the black paper. It didn't work as well as I thought it would, but it's still a learning process, isn't it? And although it didn't work, uh, work out perfectly, it gave, gave me plenty of ideas for the future to try out. Like, I know that this paper that Nasreen sent me is really great for watercolors, so I can, you can use gouache on it. But this is something I will leave for a future video. So now, after these three weeks of this wonderful collab, I think that it was totally worth it. I really enjoyed communicating and working, working with these both YouTubers. I really enjoyed every message we sent out. I feel like they are my friends now. <laughs> At least I know them better. And this is something I appreciate a lot. I got to try out new things that I probably wouldn't have bought uh, for myself. And I got some things that I was already on the lookout for, like the little sketchbook and the tiny palette that I got in the streams box. I enjoyed the watercolor pencils that um, Hartfell uh, gave me and those neon watercolors that really made me paint something very, very different. And the papers in this set that again just inspired me to try out new techniques and 
new supplies. I never have expected this to go that way because I thought, well, I get some things, I'll try them out and we'll see what it's going to be. I expect myself to still work um, with in the way I was working before, like painting animals in a realistic way. And I didn't do that. So thank you, thank both of you for uh, making me try new things. You surprised me and I love this experience. Next week there will be something different in this place. But I still hope that you will enjoy it. Have a great day, all of you. See you soon. Bye.